Oftentimes when talking to people about movies, a common debate I hear is, where is today's Spielberg, Scorsese, and Kubrick? Where are today's new cinematic masters that are going to go out and inspire an entire generation to want to go out and make movies? I find this debate a bit ridiculous as it's strictly being blindfolded by the fact that these filmmakers do exist today. It's just that we don't see their legacy behind them. There are so many filmmakers that will one day be a part of the Mount Everest of directors. One obvious name is Christopher Nolan, but I think we all know that. But the next director that I believe will be a part of this conversation will be none other than French-Canadian director Denis Villeneuve. Denis Villeneuve is a director that came from complete obscurity not even a decade ago to someone that's now being considered one of the best working today. What went from a director who made critically acclaimed Canadian cinema to someone who successfully adapted Dune and got Dune Part 2 greenlit into production. What's funny is that we tend to see success as something immediate when Denis Villeneuve is working his whole life and only just 54 and now being considered as one of the best directors working today. I think the first thing we need to consider is his impact on Canadian cinema. Now let's be honest, there's some great films that come from Canada, but there's really a true ceiling what you can do over here and that's why oftentimes we don't hear about movies that come from Canada. But Denis Villeneuve still made a name for himself here in Canada. The film that's probably his best known Canadian work is Enemy starring Jake Gyllenhaal. Enemy is a mind-bending, twisted, and psychological story about a man who thinks he discovered his own doppelganger. And this film is such a mind that it gives Christopher Nolan a run for his money. This film captures Toronto in a way I have never seen before in such a dirty way and yet it doesn't make it all about Canada and its culture. It's just a really creative film that really keeps you on the edge of your seat guessing what's real and what isn't. This film showed the audiences that Denis Villeneuve was a filmmaker to watch out for and had the chance to break out. And break out he did. Off the strength of Insandis, Villeneuve managed to attract enough attention from the studio system and the film he chose to make was Prisoners. This film put Denis on the map. It's a film that is so raw and so engrossing about the length someone will take to find their loved ones. This film had Villeneuve stamp all over it with his fantastic performances, beautiful cinematography, and oh my god, the bathroom scene. This just did not feel like a studio film. It's really a grand, complex narrative that is morally questionable at times. Villeneuve went to the studio system and did not sell out. He remained true to his roots and his next two movies, Sicario and Arrival, really showcased this. Sicario continued Villeneuve's way of telling morally questionable stories and in Arrival's case, it's a film that has a grand sci-fi plot, yet in its center is super emotional and human. Now after making four movies in a row with almost no break in between them, you'd think he'd just take a break from filmmaking, right? No, he just decides to make Blade Runner 2049 immediately after finishing Arrival. I think my audience knows what I think about Blade Runner 2049, as it's the film I commonly cite as making me want to be a filmmaker. But I wanted to separate myself from the discussion as the fact that Villeneuve had to make a sequel to the original Blade Runner was an impossible uphill battle in itself. The original 1982 Blade Runner was a box office flop that eventually found its audience later on and now is considered one of the most influential sci-fi films ever made. Many film fans probably had their pitch force ready had Villeneuve screwed us up. The thing is, Denis Villeneuve did not screw it up. Many think it's just as good as the original and for me, I think it's better but I don't need to get into hot takes today. 2049 showed that Villeneuve had the ability to transport you and make you feel an escape through his mind-boggling cinematography, amazing production design, and his immersive sound design, you as an audience member feel like you're a part of Los Angeles 2049. This film continued Denis Villeneuve's way of storytelling into the whole point of Blade Runner, which is, what makes us truly human? The craziest part is that Denis Villeneuve did exactly what Ridley Scott did for a whole new generation. The film also flopped at the box office, but now many people are starting to cite this film as one of the best films that has come out in the last few years. Now while 2049 made me realize this in Denis Villeneuve, it's now more certain with Dune. Saying that Villeneuve did the impossible with Dune is a literal understatement. It's a book that's been considered impossible to adapt, yet Denis brought it to life and remained truthful. Dune is a film that does not come all the time. It's a film that uses a cinematic format so hard that it needs to be seen in the biggest screen possible for its intended effect. It's not just the fact that you feel like you're on Arrakis with his stunning visuals, cinematography, and sound mix, but Denis also shot the film in the 1x4 free aspect ratio 
and it's so grand that even that aspect ratio feels restricted for him. It's not my favorite Villeneuve movie, but it's one that I'm so glad that it exists and is doing so well. I've seen the reactions from the internet and I really believe that Dune will inspire a new generation of filmmakers who will say this movie changed it for them. Again, it is so hard to make bold predictions like this as we need to see Villeneuve's legacy behind him. That being said, Denis has shown more than any other director right now that he has the potential to reach that level as he's already made such a huge impact in such little time. He has the ability to tell complex narratives and complex motivations and yet also transport you and make you feel an escape with the cinematic format. It doesn't matter if he will make lightning strike again with Doom Part 2, Denis Villeneuve has already shown he will make interesting movies no matter what. Alright guys, thank you guys so much for watching the video. I had an amazing time talking about the movies of Denis Villeneuve. If you guys enjoyed the video, please give me a like, subscribe, click the notification bell for alerts of brand new videos, and comment below, tell me guys thought the video. Anyways, I'll catch you guys in the next video.